Welcome back. In this video, we're going to explain and implement PGP ASPath prepend feature. Let's cover some of the basics of BGP ASPath. So the ASPath attribute is mandatory. The ASPath attribute describes the path of autonomous system that the route has been through since it was sourced into the BGP. Also, when a BGP router receives root in an update message, the first action is to examine the current AS path to see if the local AS number is in the path. If it is in the path, it shows that the root has been through the AS already in order to avoid loop, BGP speaker will drop that route. So by default, AS path value is changed as the route travels um, transits between um, AS to AS. The BGP routers add the local AS number to the front of the path before sending it to the peer. Now by prepending AS information uh, to the AS path multiple time, um, you can affect the routing decision made by routers in the other autonomous systems and discourage those routes from using that path because it's a longer path. So let's take a look at our topology for the task. On the right hand side we have AS100. In this we have two BGP speakers, PE1 and PE2. PE1 and PE2 are directly connected using prefix 10110/24 and peering using IBGP. Loopback addresses are set as 1111 and 2222 respectively. OSPF is used as an IGP in AS100 and PE2 is injecting following slash 24 prefixes into the BGP. They are 10, 20, 30 and 40, 000 slash 24. PE1 is the border router for AS100. PE1 is peering with AS 300 over the prefix 13000/24 PE1's address is dot .1 and EBGP speaker in the S300 is 13003 On the other side PE1 is pairing with AS200 over the prefix 1200 0 slash 24. PE1's address is dot 1 and EBGP speaker in the AS200 is 12002. AS300 is also pairing with AS8888 over the prefix of 201.0.0 slash 24. AS300 side is dot one and AS8888 side address is 201.00.8. On the other side, AS200 is also appearing with AS8888 over the prefix 200.0.0 slash 24. AS200 side is dot one and AS 8888 side address is 200.0.0.8. AS8888 is acting as an internet transit and this AS is advertising prefix 8.8.8 .8 to both AS300 and AS200. And that prefix ultimately arriving in the AS100. Let's take a look at implementation of AS path prepend attribute. First of all, we're going to check on PE2. PE2 has four loopback interfaces with IP addresses configured for each range for the purpose of reachability and testing.
Next we see that the PE2 is advertising following prefixes into BGP. 10 0 0 0 20 0 0 0 30 0 0 0 and 40 0 0 0 slash 24. Let's move to PE1, the border router, and check the BGP table. Let's take a look at BGP table on PE1. We notice that PE1 is learning those prefixes from PE2 via BGP. The next stop is the IP address of PE2 and the local preference is 100 that is BGP default. In this topology we want AS100 to prefer path via AS200 to reach 8888. Therefore we are going to prepend out our own AS in the advertisement towards AS300. Let's start the configuration. In the first step, we created a prefix list permitting prefixes to be advertised. In step 2, we created route map named AS100 and matched prefix list created above. We also created a route map named AS100 prepend and matched same prefix list. And set our own AS path as prepend twice, that is 100. Now that we want to ensure that the traffic goes via AS200, so we are going to attach the route map named AS100 prepend to the neighbor 13.0.0.3 in the outbound direction. So let's jump on to PE1 and attach the route map to the peer address of 13.0.0.3 in the outbound direction so that our own AS is prepended in the advertisement towards AS300. Next we are going to attach a route map AS100 towards the neighbor 12.0.0.2 to advertise prefixes without prepending the AS path. As we see that neighbor 13.0.0.3, we have the route map AS100 prepend outbound direction on the neighbor 12.0.0.2 route map AS100 in outbound direction. Now let's check we are advertising those four prefixes to eBGP neighbors.
we see that the prefixes have been advertised to ebgp neighbor and the next stop is 2.2.2.2 .2 and that is the advertising router's loopback IP address. The local preference is 100, that is BGP default. And total four prefixes are announced. Now let's jump on to AS8888 and take a look at BGP table. We see that AS8888 has received 10, 20, 30 and 40 slash 24 prefixes. When examining the prefix 10.0.0.0/24, we notice that we have two paths for the destination, and one of them is best. When we look to the right, we see that the reason why a path via 200.0.0.1 is best path because it is the shortest path. While the path via 201.0.0.1 is the longest path as it has AS100 prepended in it. Another way we can verify path selection in detail is using command show IP BGP and the prefix, in this case 10.0.0.0/24. We see that 10.0.0.0/24 is learned via 201.0.0.1 and it is a valid external path. But path via 200.0.0.1 is the valid but also the best path. Let's now verify the path and we are going to trace the path to destination of 10.0.0.1 and expect it to go via AS200. And we can see that the traffic has selected the path to destination via 200.0.0.1 that is the connected IP of the AS200 towards AS8888 and then 12.0.0.1 and that is connected IP of AS100 towards AS200. To reach its final destination of 12.0.0.1 if you like the video, please subscribe to the channel and leave your comments below. Thank you.